Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you all for your testimony. I guess I would, this wasn't my original question, but kind of in line with what has just been said. Um, according to the direction in which the comments have gone, pretty much you said, you know, we've already done the heavy lifting, we're good, um, we're at the highest peak, we're just going down. All of these things sound really great, except my school districts are still constantly asking me for changes in the pension system. Um, so if everything is so great and we're, we've done the heavy lifting and we're done and we fixed the pension, why is it that the school districts at this point in time, I mean, they can't afford to pay 30% every single year. What would be your suggestion as to the fact of, from, would require legislation, I'm assuming, but at what, what changes would you suggest um, in order to get these school districts that are crying for help and need the, want, asking for relief, but you seem to think that at this point, from what I'm getting from the comments, that we've, we've fixed the problem. Well, I, I I didn't certainly mean to say that we have fixed the problem or you've fixed the problem. What I said was, and what Moody's agreed was, the heavy lifting in terms of getting the employer contribution rate from where it was at 27% to 100%, that's been done. And I said the challenge is to keep the employer contribution rate at that level, and we understand that that's painful to the general fund, it's painful to the school districts that participate in the system. So one of the ideas I suggested earlier was that if there's an infusion of cash that comes into the system in addition to the ARC, that would certainly provide uh, the best means of having some short-term relief. If the general fund would assume a larger share of the reimbursement to school districts, that could provide some, some short-term relief. Um, other than those two items, I mean, that's really the only way you're going to provide short-term relief to school districts to get them through this period where that employer rate has to be up in the 30% range. Okay. Ace. Thing from SIRS or? Oh, from SIRS. Uh, looking at from a school district perspective, I think uh, Glenn's probably the expert to talk to on that one. And I certainly also did not mean to say that we have fixed the problem. What I've said is that the hard work to get all of the 100% of the contributions necessary has been done. And that was difficult. Now, uh, as we've seen in some other states, longevity matters. The longer you stick with the plan, the better the results of that plan will be over time. So we're, we know that it's hard. But paying the contribution rate each year will get us into a position where we can be fiscally healthy uh, over over time. But it is a time issue. It's not it's not an immediate and paying, fix. And paying it at the hundred percent what is required. Yes, ma'am. So at this point, we have done that for a year, um, and so to continue that over the next sixteen years, you're saying for the twenty four that we've paid six in already, give or take. Um, to be able to pay that. So the ability for us um, with uh, dollars, and, and I would just say that, you know, obviously that is a hard decision and the, that infusion of additional cash, obviously, which is not there uh, with a budget deficit and that type of thing. Um, so the school districts will continue to pay that high level of percentage. Another a quick question that I did have with um, the settlements that were received um, recently uh, from the um, Rating agencies. Where do those dollars? Uh, I know it's a different number for each of the of the retirement systems. Where do those dollars from those settlements go, and how are they used? Well, uh, go ahead. The the Moody's is that what you're referring yes. to, ma'am? Yes. We have an estimate right now. We haven't actually received the funds. It's right. going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.7 million dollars. Right. We believe will come into SERS, right. and it'll be put into our operating capital, and then we'll redeploy it. So it'll go into general operations. Yes. Okay. Well, and the same. It, we take we take our operations out of our investment or out of our fund. Right. So this, because it's reimbursing us for for losses, it goes back into the same pool from which the investment originally came. Right. Okay. So it, it, that in and of itself, will it be operation? I mean, is that where did it originally come? I guess is my question. That I didn't know where it originally came from. Well, it was a re, as a result of uh, an investment investment loss. So it okay. would have come out of our investments. Right. Okay, so it goes back in and then, I just wasn't sure how that money. Yeah. And, uh, and we expect so that we're supposed to get about 13.7 million out of the, the Moody's settlement. Okay, because we had seen the articles, I just wasn't sure how that worked as to when the settlement is, happens and where it goes. But thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.